about um, what about non-drug mm. remedies? What sort of things you can do well, if you don't want to take? There's them? lots of stuff that we tell yeah. people time yeah. and time again, yeah. don't yeah. we? Watch the pollen count. So try not to go outside if you can when the pollen count is high. Close the windows during the daytime. Um, if you put Vaseline on the inside of your nose, it traps pollen. And you can just use simple Vaseline, but you can get special creams and gels that people use as well, which are slightly more expensive. Mm -hmm. If you go outside and you come back in, it might be a good idea to wash your hair and change your clothes because you'll carry pollen on your clothes. Similarly, if you put your washing out, maybe don't put it out during the day when pollen counts are high because it will capture some of that mm -hmm. pollen. You'll bring it in and it'll kick it all off. Mm -hmm. um, and when children go outside or adults go outside, if you've got eye symptoms, wear big sunglasses because that provides a bit of shielding from it as well. What about the purifiers and things that you can buy, that the ionisers that you put in your rooms? No good. Really? Oh, interesting. Well, not a lot of good, let's say, really? let's say that. Because most of the pollen you meet, of course, is outside. Yeah. And it may help a little bit in your bedroom, but but you know, but really, it, all it, the other it's stuff is really all the other stuff is is better. 